Today I'm filming my vlog while I'm cooking because I was at the mall earlier and it took like three hours. And so I'm gonna double task, which you can't technically do, but I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I went to the mall to find clothes for my music video and it was actually pretty successful. Shout out to Kira. Thanks for going with me. I would have been very lost in that mall without Kira. Um, but yeah, so the music video is coming up next week. So I'm just trying to finalize everything and make sure I have my clothes right, my props right. Everyone's ready to go. Um, it might snow. It's going to be cold. So we're just going to have to layer and just dress warm. We're going to have some hand warmers. We're going to get lunch after, warm up. And then we're going to head to the studio to do two other videos. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, MJ's directing and... I really trust her opinion. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how everything turns out. Um, I know the other people working on the video, or I know some of the other people working on the video, but I haven't met everybody yet. So I'll get to meet new people next week. Um, so that's something that's exciting. And then all my mixes are coming back from Rob. I sent him notes yesterday and he sent me back everything today. And I already listened to it and I, it's pretty close. I'm gonna have to listen a few more times and actually go through and like compare it to the notes I made. Cause some of them were small things that I've forgotten about, but sometimes it's in the details. So, working on getting those songs finished up. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I don't really feel like talking about nothing. I don't have my microphone. My brother doesn't like when I wear my headphones and use my microphone, but I like it. So, I just don't have a setup, so that's how I have to do it. I could set up right, there's literally no room to set up a laptop and a microphone right here. I guess I could put my headphones in. Ah, that's a knife. Headphones in and speak with the little headphone. I don't know if that'd make much of a difference. I'm working on a new demo. It's. It's an epic tale and I have no idea how it's all gonna come together, but I know I will need mm, like a symphony, <laughs> like the whole symphony, um, ideally. But of course I have no idea at this point how to make that happen and like that would be expensive. I can't even imagine thousands of dollars for one song. But people spend that much on songs all the time. I'm just not quite there yet. Um, but music's expensive to produce. It doesn't have to be, though. You can do it on your own. You can find producers who are up and coming. Um, yeah. There's definitely many ways to make music and not have to be super expensive. Sometimes if you want very specific things for your music, you, have, you might have to fork up the extra cash, especially with musicians because, you know, they deserve it. They've been working on that reel for a long time and there's a reason why they do what they do. Um, but yeah, just finishing up these goals, like I said in the last vlog from the last, ah, from the last time. And... 
next week I have a photo shoot. That's going to be great with Rebecca. She's amazing. Um, got my pants for my custom jacket. They came in. They're a little more green than I want them to be, but they're going to work. And I'll just keep searching for the right pants. And those are definitely going to work for now. So we're going to get some new pictures. Michael's doing my makeup tomorrow. To, not tomorrow. Saturday for a test for the music videos. I'm really excited to have him on board. Big mama, excuse me. And, uh, what else? I went to Andy Frasco on Tuesday night. And that was the weirdest show, but I loved it. Like the bassist got up on the keyboard and his keyboard, Andy's keyboard, the top of it would lift up and down. So he'd just stand on it and go up and down, which is cool. But the bassist got up there and was singing and it was amazing. And it was hilarious. The show was hilarious. I've never been to a funnier show. Um, they tried to do like a soul train. <laughs> But it turned into a mosh pit. So, um, it's funny. It was really funny. And yeah, I went for my friend Rachel's birthday. So that was really nice to see her and her family. Um, social media time has gotten a little bit better. Like I kind of have impl implemented it this week. But I feel like my schedule's just been kind of all over the place with getting ready for the video that it hasn't quite been set in stone, but I can see how it's gonna be super valuable for me to just take that time every day to focus on social media. I started making an EPK, an electronic press kit. Um, I did okay on it, it still has a lot of work to do, but I also have to like make my subscription by my website again. So I know it's just something I need to do. Um, it's not like 100% necessary yet. However, I think it will be a nice place to, to direct people, especially for the new project. I can just be like, go here. You can see the videos, you can see the music, you can see the pictures, you can see the merch. Um, so everything will just be like in one specific place. And it's nice because it has a phone view and laptop or desktop view. So anybody can look at it and it'll look nice and professional. Um, <laughs> I've been in my head a little bit, just I've been feeling really good lately and I'm just trying not to overthink things and I just gotta like stay level-headed even though I am having a great time but I do want to stay level-headed and focused on my goals because that is what actually is important to me this is fun for me to go off and do dumb things or you know things I'm not gonna talk about but that's okay that's what I've realized lately, I think, is that like, I think a lot of me is good. I think I do good things for others and for myself. However, like there's clearly a part of me that does the wrong things and makes mistakes and hurts people. I don't think it's a huge part of who I am, but it's there and there's no denying it. And so it's been me kind of reflecting and um, I don't know if grappling is the right word, but just like really considering that side of myself and like doing my best to accept that it's there because I feel really bad when I hurt people and it sucks and it's hard for me to let go of that. Um, I just hope the people out there that I hurt in the past know that 
that they know that, that I am flawed and that I don't always do the right thing and it, I do feel bad about it. And like I'm always reflecting and figuring out how I can do things better, how I can treat people and myself better as I go. I think it's just kind of me being in my head about it because I do have issues with um, wanting to please others. And when somebody's not happy with me, I feel like I need to try to fix it because it's like I, I've gotten my worth from other people's approval. So when people don't approve, I feel less worthy. And it's something I'm aware of and something I'm working on just accepting in myself. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I think I'm gonna just cook, keep cooking because this take me a long 13 minutes to chop half an onion. I hope you have a fabulous experience and if it's not um i hope you find your way through and we'll see you on the other side